What if the clean energy solution we've been searching for could fit in your pocket? Hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, holds the key to a zero carbon future. But storing it has always been a massive challenge. Could the answer lie in solid materials that absorb hydrogen like a sponge? Hydrogen is hailed as the fuel of the future. It's clean, versatile, and has the potential to power everything from cars to homes. But traditional storage methods, compressing hydrogen gas or cooling it into a liquid, are energy expensive and not always safe. Solid state hydrogen storage offers a game changing alternative using materials that can safely absorb and release hydrogen under the right conditions. But how do these materials work? Can they truly store enough hydrogen to power our lives? And what does it mean for the future of clean energy? In this video, we'll dive deep into the science of solid hydrogen storage, explore its benefits, and address the challenges researchers are working to overcome. Storing hydrogen in solid materials isn't just a neat trick. It's a game-changing solution to one of hydrogen's biggest challenges, how to keep it stable and compact. Instead of cramming hydrogen gas into a high-pressure tank or freezing it into a liquid, solid-state storage uses special materials that absorb hydrogen into their structure, almost like a sponge soaking up water. Sounds cool, right? But how does it actually work? Step 1. Absorption. Picture this. Hydrogen gas meets a solid material, let's say a metal hydride or a fancy porous material like a metal organic framework. The hydrogen molecules don't just sit on the surface, they actually get pulled inside. Depending on the material, this can happen in two ways. Kimi's eyes option. The hydrogen molecules split apart into individual atoms and form chemical bonds with the material. This is like building a really stable friendship. Strong, reliable, but it takes a bit of effort to break apart later. Fice Absorption. Hydrogen molecules slip into tiny pores in the material, kind of like hiding in a cave. This process is quicker and easy, but it's not as dense or strong. Step 2. Safe and compact storage. Once the hydrogen is inside, it's not just sitting there, waiting to leak out or explode. It's trapped, stable, and safe. Imagine storing energy in a solid block instead of a tank of highly pressurized gas, that's why this technology is such a big deal. It's compact and way safer than the alternatives. Some materials can even store hydrogen at room temperature, which is a massive improvement over the 253 degrees C needed for liquid hydrogen. Step 3. Release. When it's time to use the hydrogen, the material is heated or exposed to specific conditions that release the gas. Think of it like squeezing a sponge, the hydrogen comes out clean and ready to power your car, your house, or even an industrial plant. The trick is finding materials that can release hydrogen without needing too much energy input. And researchers are making progress on that front every day. So what's the secret source? The materials. Metal hydrides are super dense and great for long-term storage. Moths and other porous materials, they're lightweight and fast. By combining these technologies, we're getting closer to a practical, scalable solution. Let's talk about why storing hydrogen in solid materials is such a big deal. Right now, most hydrogen is stored as either a compressed gas or a supercooled liquid. Both of these methods are, well, not ideal. High pressure tanks are bulky and liquid hydrogen requires insane cooling to keep it from boiling away. This is where solid-state storage steps in as the superhero of hydrogen technology. First, let's talk safety. One of the biggest concerns with hydrogen is that it's a gas, light, flammable, and prone to leaks. But solid materials can trap hydrogen inside their structure, keeping it stable. No leaks, no explosions. It's like storing energy inside a solid sponge, and you only squeeze it out when you need it. That's a massive win for safety especially for cars, homes, and even your local power plant. Next up, space efficiency. Solid materials can pack hydrogen in really tightly, much more tightly than a tank of compressed gas. Some metal hydrides, for example, can store more hydrogen per unit volume than a gas tank. Imagine shrinking a bulky hydrogen storage system into something the size of a suitcase while still holding the same amount of fuel. That's what makes solid storage a game changer. 
especially for vehicles and portable devices. It's also more energy efficient most of the time. To store hydrogen as a liquid, you have to cool it down to minus 253 degrees Celsius. That's practically as cold as space. Solid materials, on the other hand, can absorb hydrogen at room temperature or just slightly above. That means less energy wasted on storage, which is good news for your wallet and the planet. And here's the cherry on top, long-term stability. Hydrogen stored in a solid doesn't leak over time, which means it's perfect for backup energy systems. Imagine a power grid that can store clean energy for months without losing it. That's the promise of solid-state hydrogen storage. Of course, no breakthrough is perfect. Let's dig into the challenges. First, materials. Not all storage materials are created equal. Metal hydrides are heavy, which is great for safety, but not ideal if you're trying to build a lightweight hydrogen car. On the flip side, porous materials like MOFs, metal organic frameworks, are super light, but don't store as much hydrogen. Finding the right balance between capacity and weight, that's still a work in progress. And then there's the release process. Getting hydrogen out of some materials can be tricky. You might need to heat them up, which uses energy and can lower the overall efficiency. Researchers are working on materials that can release hydrogen at lower temperatures, but it's not a solved problem yet. Another hurdle is cost. Advanced materials like boron hydrides or MOFs sound amazing in a lab, but scaling them up for mass production is expensive. Imagine trying to power a city with a material that costs a fortune to produce. Not exactly practical right now. And durability? Yeah, that's another issue. Over time, some materials break down after absorbing and releasing hydrogen repeatedly. It's like a sponge that gets worn out after too many squeezes. Improving durability is a key focus for researchers, but it's not quite there yet. So, where does this amazing technology fit into the real world? The answer is, pretty much everywhere. Hydrogen has already been called the fuel of the future, and solid-state storage could make that future arrive even faster. Let's break it down. First up, hydrogen-powered vehicles. Think about electric cars, but instead of batteries, they're running on hydrogen fuel cells. One of the biggest challenges for these cars has been storing hydrogen safely and compactly. Enter solid-state storage. By using materials that absorb hydrogen, we could replace bulky high-pressure tanks with something smaller, lighter, and way safer. This could make hydrogen cars more practical, more efficient, and, dare we say it, more popular. Next, backup power for your home or even the grid. Imagine having a solid-state hydrogen storage unit in your basement, quietly soaking up energy from solar panels during the day and releasing it at night. It's like having a supercharged battery, but cleaner and more reliable for long-term use. On a larger scale, utilities could use solid-state storage to stabilize energy grids, storing excess wind or solar power and releasing it when demand spikes. Then there's industrial heat and power. Here's the thing. Industries like steel production or chemical manufacturing need crazy amounts of heat. Most of the time, they burn fossil fuels to get it, which is terrible for the planet. But a hydrogen-powered furnace using solid-state storage, now we're talking. It's clean, it's efficient, and it could completely transform how heavy industries operate. And let's not forget hydrogen as a fuel for space exploration. Rocket scientists love hydrogen because it's lightweight and packs a ton of energy. The problem? Storing it safely during long missions. Solid-state storage could be the key to sending hydrogen-powered spacecraft deeper into the solar system. And bringing astronauts home safely. But here's where it gets really interesting. Hydrogen villages. In some countries, there's already talk of creating entire communities powered by hydrogen. Picture neighborhoods with solid-state hydrogen storage systems providing energy for homes, cars, and even local industries. It's like stepping into a sci-fi movie, but it's becoming real. 
But let's be real, this technology isn't quite ready for prime time yet. There are challenges to overcome. From finding the perfect materials to scaling up production in a way that makes economic sense. The good news? Progress is happening fast. And every step forward brings us closer to a world where hydrogen plays a starring role in the global energy mix. If you're as excited as we are about the future of clean energy, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new and share it with anyone curious about the science shaping tomorrow. Together, let's explore how breakthroughs like solid-state hydrogen storage can lead us toward a cleaner, greener planet.